video I'm showing you how to go from this to this so if you want to see how I did that keep on watching And here are the tights. There are no seams on these tights, so I don't have so much as a guideline at the back to attach the elastic to, so we're going to have to figure that out. So I've seen these Brazilian butt lift leggings quite a bit at the gym, and I would like your take on this. Do you think that they are for everyone? I feel like there's a bit of shade involved there. Anyway, back to the leggings. I'm finding the middle point, and I'm folding them over and using the crotch because that's the only place that I have some seams and I'm lining up those seams so I can find the exact middle point of my leggings. You would completely be able to skip this step if your tights already have a seam at the back. Then you would just go ahead and use that as your guideline and pin your elastic straight onto that. But I don't so I have to do this step. At the end of it all, I don't want a one-sided line and then the scrunch just ends up looking weird. All right, elastic. Here you see me using white lingerie elastic. I did end up swapping that out, but you have to watch towards the end of the video to find out why. All right, if you're feeling really pro, you can skip this step as well, but I like to use pins because trust me, I have had many a sewing mistake from not having used pins. You have no idea. So I like to stay on the safe side and pin it up. All right, now I'm going to sew that elastic onto my tights, but this is going to take a while, so let's just fast forward, three, two, one. And fast forward, we are done. Don't forget to backstitch. Perfect scrunch. Notice the black elastic, but listen while I explain why. There were three things I had to do differently that I didn't end up filming, so let me just run through it very quickly. I ended up having to sew the elastic all the way up to the waistband. In the video, you saw me pinning the elastic about two thirds up. However, when I tried the tights on, I was not getting that perfect amount of scrunch that I wanted so I went um, I went ahead and sewed it all the way up. Secondly, I swapped out that white elastic for this regular elastic. The white elastic was lingerie elastic which is softer and I chose that thinking I wouldn't have like this type of hard elastic chafing between my butt cheeks. I mean, I wear underwear, but I still felt like, you know, you don't want anything at all uncomfortable there, especially when you're working out, you might be doing a squat and then you feel like a weird rubbing. You don't want that. That's why I chose the other elastic, the softer one. I ended up opting for this. Like I said, try this in the gym. It works. Hallelujah. The third thing I did was I ended up adding elastic in the waistband as well because, I don't know, they were just not staying up and I needed that. I needed it to stay in my waist so I just made two holes threaded elastic through and yeah sewed those two pieces together popped it back in here and now I have elastic in the waistband as well and the cool thing is that the tights came like this already folded over with space for elastic so it was only a matter of making two holes and threading the elastic through that was all I needed to do and I got these amazing scrunch butt tights for like 35 kronas I think that's like three dollars somewhere around three dollars that's a steal if you ask me and here's the finished product yay they are my new favorite workout tights I think I've used them twice now <laughs> since I did this to them and yeah they're comfortable as well when I work out so that concludes today's tutorial and I hope that you enjoyed it. If you do decide to try it, post pictures and tag me. Here's my Instagram handle. Tag me, tag me, tag me and I can share the photo in my next video. But until then, take care and bye-bye. I'll see you.